Hi, this is Julian Stout, licensed personal trainer, licensed PE teacher, world record powerlifter here to take the fear out of fitness. Guys, when we go to the gym, especially for the first time or back after a long hiatus, we need a little bit of motivation and some of us try to avoid having to get a personal trainer. And while I'm not here to say that there's nobody on the planet that can help you other than a personal trainer. They can come in the form of friends and coworkers and colleagues that you can tend to lean on in, in order to get yourself the motivation that you need. But there are a group of people that nobody wants to go to the gym with. And the people that nobody goes to the gym with, I like to call the unreliables. The unreliables are a group of people that will totally ruin your experience at the P at the gym in order for you to literally opt out of going or to leave them out of it. <laughs> the first person that you don't want to be around or you don't want to invite to the gym with you is Mia. Mia, I know you're like, why are you naming people? But I'm not naming people. Mia stands for missing in action. This person, male or female, doesn't matter. They will ghost you faster than the next boyfriend that you drunk text. Okay? They will ghost you faster than a one night stand. They're the people that when you call them, at whatever time you're supposed to be there, whether it's early in the morning or right after work, you show up to the gym and you're texting or calling saying, where you at? These are the people that will leave your text message on red and won't answer you, pretend like their phone was somewhere else and they never got it when you could clearly see it was on red, but They'll give you every excuse in the book on why they didn't make it. Usually it's to the form of, I'm sorry, I had to feed my cat. And the truth is, you know that they had no business even wanting to come in the first place. The next person is the Quizzler. Yes, it is a off-brand Batman villain. This person is an... Uh, a great value Batman villain. And in the process of being the great value Batman villain that they are, they are asking questions all the time. When is this gonna be over? Do we have to do this? Why are you making me do this? Why are we even here? Everything is a question and the question is formed in a negative concept. Nothing is positive. It's always a negative experience with this person. They drain the living hell out of you when they go to the gym with you. You barely get a workout in because you're not focused. You're, you're too busy trying to clear your space in your head to get the work done, but they keep getting in there and annoying the living daylights out of you. You have the whiner. The whiner is the person similar to the Quizzler, but they're whining about the experience itself. They're not asking questions about the gym and the negative experience about the gym. They're just whining about, I don't like this exercise. This hurts. My arms hurt. My chest is sore. My back is sore. My head hurts. My feet hurt. My toes hurt. My hair hurts. These are the people that drives you to almost drink wine because you're so, as a matter of fact, you don't even want to drink wine because you're so sick of hearing them whine all the time. The Quizzler and the whiner, don't bring them in, in groups of two where you have the Quizzler and the whiner because, oh, you're in for a treat. You're not getting any work done. You're going to be so stressed out. You're just going to want to go home. And then you're going to do something drastic to overcome those emotional roller coasters that you brought with you. Last but not least, you have the poster. 
The poster is the person that puts on makeup or they're posers in the sense that all they do is get in the mirror and pose. Yeah, there's a difference between getting on Instagram and Facebook, working out and doing your thing because that's what you're genuinely doing. And it's, you know, one reel of your exercise as opposed to every set that you did while you were there. They're taking pictures, they're taking selfies, all in the gym every chance they get. When all you did was invite them to come work out with you. They're taking pictures while you're working out. You're trying to focus on the work. They're supposed to be there to help you and spot you, but they're too busy checking themselves out. They're of no help to you. They might as well have not been there. They're so annoying. You're busy asking other people for help while you're there because you're so desperate to get through your workout. Initially, your intimidation of the gym immediately goes away thanks to the poser, right? These are the people you do not want to rely on when you go to the gym because they don't make a great experience while you're there. And the whole purpose of going is to challenge yourself, but enjoy the challenge while you're there. It is not about dealing with other people's nonsense. This is actually supposed to be a sanctuary to clear your head. It should be a drama free zone. Everybody should be more harmonious in their interactions with you as opposed to confrontational or adversarial for that matter these this the reason why i'm bringing this up is to give you insight to what you want when you get to a gym as opposed to what your desperation in just dragging anybody to get you some semblance of motivation that you will anything will do and i promise you now any of those unreliables will just make the experience worthwhile for you to do it by yourself while you be the best you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and on YouTube. Have a nice day and be the best you.